Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and oh, I have a, a tidbit, I guess, trying to make the best out of a worse situation here. I'm going to show you how to make your videos suitable, uh, well, designate them whether they're suitable for kids or not suitable for kids. Um, this video is not suitable for kids, so th that's so that way they, the machine learning or the guy in India can't say that it is. This isn't for kids. Sorry, I, I guess I got to do that now. Um, I know not everyone uses uh, desktops anymore, but I think a lot of YouTube creators probably still do. I mostly use my iPad and I like using the browser. So when you're in here, you get this nice little pop-up now, which I, I had read about this. I had seen some videos, nobody was really talking about it. I didn't really think it was gonna happen this quick, but as you can see, it's already here. So you go here and this tells you the gist of it. It's a bunch of BS, but if anyone cares about this video, maybe I can do a commentary of my worthless opinion that won't matter, but um, from what I can tell on um, mobile in this browser, you can't, you need to use the YouTube studio. Maybe you can force it, but they say with the app, you can go in here. I don't think there's anything that matters if you see this. Let um, me be an idiot anyway. So then you go up to your edit here, because I think most people probably do everything on mobile these days. So then you go to the settings, and you see here, I already batch act or um, changed action to everything to uh, it's not made for kids, but this is how you can do it individually. As far as I can tell on mobile, you can only do it one video at a time. So if you have thousands of videos, you better get on the desktop and do it through the studio um, page. Okay, so now I'm on desktop here, and you can see in today's YouTube, it's not worth putting any time into editing and making a nice video for a person like me, so we're just going to do this Jensi and block the screen this way. So when you're on your YouTube studio page, uh, there should be, if you haven't changed it, there's going to be a banner up here that tells you to review your videos you're required by law, you'll get your door kicked in, I guess. So you're going to go down here to settings, and... Then you go to channel, and then you're going to go over here to advanced settings, and you get these options, and these are the ones that you need to make a decision on. Uh, you can go to this, it's kind of the thing again where they kind of give you a vague uh, gist of what it is. Is it is all your, or are all your videos for kids? No, none of them are for kids. And then every video, I would recommend just making them all no for kids, and then going through if you have many videos, and then going through. I mean, if you have a, I do a lot of videos on like an Xbox controller with the play and charge kit. Well, a child really probably isn't going out and buying $400 consoles and such, but what if they watch the video? I, I don't know how this limits your audience. Does it change your ad revenue? I'm not sure. I guess I could save the uh, bitching and moaning for another video. Again, we're gonna swear a lot now just to uh, make it sure that my content isn't kid friendly, but then I guess I'll probably get demonetized. So, wonderful world we got here. So, I've set mine to no, then you hit save, and you should be good then until the uh, the next Gestapo wave comes on in, I guess. So, I'm not sure what else to do. I could just keep complaining, but it, it, I will give YouTube this one thing. At least they made this here easy to do so you can batch action everything yes, everything no, or so that they at least made one thing out of this, one thing they did that they kind of at least made one thing somewhat tolerable to where it's at least easy to do this. Not sure how this is going to affect everything, but uh, that's how you can do it, and if anyone cares, maybe I can make a video, but on what I think of it, and only time will tell if it'll hurt in my analytics now, um, specifying that my content isn't for kids. But I always thought if you were under 13, you weren't supposed to use YouTube anyway. That's why they had the kids app. But uh, I guess that's it for this one. If I'm not abducted, I'll be back at some point for a new um, non-child-friendly video. So thanks for watching, and you'll see me in the next one. Have a good one.